In this video, I'm going to compare the Teledyne LaCroix DL ISO probe on a WaveRunner 8000 HD oscilloscope to the Tektronix ISOView probe on a Tektronix 6 series oscilloscope. Both probes are rated at 1 GHz and both oscilloscopes have 2 GHz of bandwidth. These probes are meant for probing floating gate to source voltages with fast rise times on GAN MOSFETs and silicon carbide IGBTs. To simplify the comparison today, we will not float the signal, but we will use a PSPL to generate a really fast pulse to replicate a VGS signal. I can assure you that the two setups are comparable. For more details, click the link for our setup video. First up, the LaCroix DL ISO connected to the WaveRunner 8000 HD. The PSPL signal being measured is a 560 picosecond pulse with 12% overshoot. When the DL ISO is connected, the rise time is measured as approximately 586 picoseconds and the probe has an overshoot of approximately 6%, which is very good. The probe also has good signal fidelity when you compare the shape of the original signal to the measured signal. Let's make the same measurement using the Tektronix ISOView and the Tek 6 series. As mentioned earlier, the PSPL signal is a 560 picosecond pulse. The measured ISOView signal has a rise time of approximately 700 picoseconds, which is approximately 150 picoseconds off the original signal. It's very easy to see the shape of the measured ISOView signal and conclude that it is not a faithful representation of the measured signal. The fidelity is just not good enough. To be clear, I have tested the ISOView on a Tech 5 series oscilloscope as well and I see the same discrepancy in rise time and poor shape and bad fidelity on the measured signal. To learn more about the Teledyne LaCroix DL ISO, go to teledynelacroix.com slash DL ISO.